Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kimberly Edwards with cookingwithkimberly.com. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit of a fussy thing, um, something that I haven't done for you guys yet on camera, something I don't necessarily enjoy doing, but you have to do sometimes. I bought a bunch of little fish the other day. I had a great deal at the store, a little bunch of mackerel, okay? But the problem is they're whole. They're whole like this. Head on, tail on, innards in, they're not even clean. So, guess what that means? That means I get to clean them. Ew, but that's okay. We wanna eat these bad boys, right? Okay, so these guys have been rinsed under cold water and they've been just chilling, waiting for me. I'm gonna show you guys how to do one, so I'm gonna put it here. Okay, hold on. This might get a little messy. If you guys are squeamish, please don't watch this video. Innards are coming out of this fish. Don't, don't tell me I didn't warn you, okay? I warned you. Don't look if you don't like it, just don't do it. Just buy already filleted fish. If not, if you wanna learn how to do this, come on and join me. So you're not gonna see my face, but I'm gonna try and show you this technique. All right, so here's a mackerel, okay? This is actually from the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It's Canadian mackerel. So first thing you guys wanna do is you want to cut from the head down to down to the tail, at least down to here, okay? So now that's open, right? Sorry guys, it's grody. And I'm gonna open this bad boy up, here we go. So we're open now, make sure I get all the way in. This is not nice, just be ready to wash your hands and just pretend like it never happened and you didn't do it. I'm also gonna cut a little bit into the gill base here. Okay, be very careful, I'm using an extremely sharp filleting knife that you would use if you were outdoors or cleaning fish. All right, so here we go. Here's a whole bunch of grody stuff. We don't need to talk about it, okay? We just need to get rid of it, and that's that. So I would, if you don't feel like touching it, I mean, I don't like touching it, but if, here I am. If you don't like touching it, don't touch it. Use like a spoon. That works too. That's such a girl thing to do, but hey, yo, it's gross. No one wants to do this. Try and make sure you get all that inner stuff out. If it doesn't look like it's meat, get rid of it. If it looks like organs, get rid of it. Again, your hands, they are the best um, tool on the planet for this. Here they go. I'm going to scoop some of this out too. Here we go. I want to get make sure I'm getting all the way to the spine because I want to make sure I get that kidney out. Let me just make sure. All up here by the spine, you're going to have like kidney, and here it is. All this right here. Just make sure you get scrape that out because that's the bloodline. It's just gross, okay? You don't want it. And if you want the heads off, you may cut the heads off. And I might just do that later, but right now, this is how I'm keeping it. I'm keeping the, the lungs are staying in there, whatever, the gills. And uh, you just want that meat. So that's it, pretty much. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it. There we go. That's all the way to the spine. So now I'm going to go rinse this bad boy, okay? Hold on. Sit tight. I'm going to talk to you. Rinse it under cold water. Don't put it under warm water because you'll cook the fish. It's gross. Don't do that. Now, unfortunately, let's get rid of this cutting board and I'm going to show you the pretty fish this way on the plate. Okay, gross. I have one more to do after. And we'll talk. Let's talk. Wipe my hands off. Here we are. Hello. Okay. So, you may cut the head off if you want to. Um, you would cut it on a diagonal like that towards the head and on same on the other side, okay? Now, for these, these are really small, so I'm going to leave the heads on and the tails on so that I can cook them. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grill them with an awesome recipe that you're gonna see in December's issue of Tonk Alive magazine. That's tonkalive.com. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you what's in it. You have to tune in. It will be launched, I believe, on the first. So these bad boys now, what I'm gonna do. Unfortunately, I don't recommend this. Unfortunately, my fish were previously frozen, okay? Sometimes that happens, and sometimes you just catch a nice deal and you hope for the best, you hope for the best. So what I'm doing now is because they were like that, I don't know, I don't know exactly the freshness. It's not like I could smell it. I wasn't getting fresh, right, at the counter. Excuse me, one moment. Puppies, stop. Thank you. You won't be able to hear me in a second. They play, they wrestle, and they, it's like Clash of the Titans. All right. So this is kind of a 
Caribbean trick, I guess you could say. They, um, they like to wash their meat or rinse their meat or soak their meat with citrus and water, okay? And they let it sit there or they do it under the, under the sink, okay? And they wash it all, even chicken, everything. So I'm going to take notes from them today and that's what I'm gonna do because I like butter and I like lemon and I like dill on my fish and it's my favorite thing. I'm doing a little twist on it later, actually a pretty nice little twist. But uh, this is how we're going to prepare it for now. So in goes a lemon. This is just a baking dish with water. Water, that's it. Squeezing it in there. Everything, I don't care if the seeds are in, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna sit here and soak. Um, I believe that it disinfects little baddies that you don't want. The citrus is, is nice, it's an acid. There we go. So in goes my fish, whole. And I'm gonna let that sit there until I'm ready to cook it. And that will be, I don't know, next hour or so um throw if you want throw it back in the fridge um so that the water stays nice and cold but this will soak and then you can prepare it as you wish tonight i'm just going to wrap it i'm going to put some seasonings inside some um, herbs and things like that and then i'm going to throw it on the grill this is so thin the meat is so is so tiny because it's a tiny fish that you're going to only have to grill it on each side probably two or three minutes and you're done so it's a really fast dinner it's gross to clean Sorry guys, but it's very inexpensive. You can do it yourself if you just buck up buttercup. It took what like a minute for me to have to deal with all the yucky <laughs> Throw it out. Don't worry about it anymore and pretend like it never happened. Okay, that's how to clean a macro so um, To make sure you tune in to tonkalive.com uh, December's issue and you'll be able to see what, exactly what I did with these macro and if not, follow me on Twitter. Go on, check me out. It's at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. You can go on the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And the YouTube show, all my shows are on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. The site is cookingwithkimberly.com. I hope you guys eat deliciously. Don't be scared. Just get in here and try it. Big deal if it doesn't work out, okay? If it does, that's awesome. Listen to me. Promise I won't steer you wrong. All right, everybody. Eat deliciously. Ciao. Bye.